I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a thinking question on quadratic function. The question here is find the maximum value of y equals to 1 divided by x square minus 6x plus 11 to the power of 4. Well, some of you must have got confused. I'm writing quadratic equation and writing something which is not quadratic, right? It looks like a rational function, okay? Now, in a way, it is quadratic. Let us look at it. The denominator here is a quadratic function. So let me write that as, uh, let's say, uh, some value. Let's say g of x, right? Some other function. And let me write this denominator as x squared minus 6x plus 11, right? So that is a quadratic function. We have it to the power of 4. You could consider this to be reciprocal of the quadratic function with exponent of 4, correct? So that is the complication and that is why it is one of the thinking questions in my list of videos. I hope that helps to understand, correct? Now, when we say maximum value of this, then it really means we want to find minimum value of this function. We are calling it g of x, okay? So that is what it means, right? Now, clearly, x squared minus 6x plus 11 is a parabola which opens upwards, right? So, it opens upwards, correct? Since it opens upwards, it does have a minimum, right? So, that minimum value, if I substitute here, I get the maximum value. Do you see that? So that is the whole concept. Is it okay? So, we will now convert this equation into a form so that we can find the minimum value, right? Some of you who know, you know, a bit more of quadratic function will say that the minimum is at the axis, correct? And this axis x value is always minus b by 2a, where b is the coefficient of x, right? So using this formula, we get the value as 6 over 2, a is 1, which is 3. So we can find x is equals to 3 as one of our answers, right? That is one way of doing it. The other way is we can do completing the squares and find the vertex. Let me show you that also. So we'll write g of x as x squared minus 6x. Half of 6 is 3, right? So we'll write this as plus 3 squared minus 3 squared. And then we'll keep 11 as such. And that gives you x minus 3 whole square and we'll combine these two minus 9 plus 11 so we have minus let me write minus 9 plus 11 first and then we'll write this as x minus 3 whole square minus 9 plus 11 is plus 2 correct so that gives us vertex clearly we do have a vertex at the point let me say vertex v is at 3 and the value is plus 2 right so that is the vertex for us so in a way if you kind of graph it right so you may get a graph kind of like this so this is like going upwards does not have any x-intercepts so that is how the graph will look like correct so the minimum value of this function as you have seen is 2 and that is at at 3 so we get minimum for denominator is at x equals to 3 and the value is or you can say y equals to 2 is that okay so for that i mean g of x in our case right so the point is 3 2 so that is the minimum value we need to find maximum value for this function so therefore what we can do is we can substitute 2 here in the denominator, right? So we get y equals to 1 over 2. Or you could substitute 3. When you substitute 3, you'll get 2, right? So we'll substitute 2 to the power of 4. Do you get an idea? So that becomes the maximum value for this particular function, which is reciprocal of your quadratic to the power of 4, correct? So that is your answer. So what answer you get here is, you can use the calculator, write decimal value, but I prefer to write this in fractions itself. 2 to the power of 4, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So y equals to 
1 over 16, correct? So effectively, if I kind of sketch this, this will be a graph which will be like this, right? So uh, let me that sketch this just for curiosity. Okay, so this is enlarged scale we are seeing. So when you sketch it, uh, this graph is going to look like kind of like this. Right, where this particular value for the function will be 1 over 16. This will be 1 over 16. Is it okay? So this value is 1 over 16, the maximum for where something break and then that is your quadratic function. Is it okay? So 1 over that, which is which is 2, will be 1 over 16, and that is the maximum value for the given function. I hope the concept is clear to you. The idea here is to think and then apply the knowledge which you have gained to solve such question. It really helps as it could be a bonus question in your test paper. I am Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos and get excellent marks. Thank you and all the best.